Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We haven't filmed for a little while because we've been so busy because so much is happening here within four days. It's day four Just right now. Bit. Day four. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Our whole house has been built, <laughs> basically. Uh, we had about five days, I think, with just a concrete pad, and we took full advantage every day for hours. We would be down there with bikes and scooters. The kids had so that was much very, fun. very, very short-lived for those children. Yeah, yeah, and it's awesome that it was short-lived, but yes. it was, we took full advantage. We've just been enjoying every moment of this build. If you're new here, we're living in a small a small house. We're a family of 13 people. Um, two of our kids are gone for the moment, but we'll be back. <laughs> and we're in like 1,700 square feet. And we came from 4,200 square feet. And I think our number one question that is asked is, your new house, how big is it? How many square foot feet? And we have not answered that question yet. And I'm glad we didn't, because I actually thought a different number than is the correct one. <laughs> now I know. Is it bigger than our two houses combined? It is bigger than this, the old house plus what? the small house combined. What? Yes. Oh my goodness. Because this one is about 17, 18. The other one is a little over 42, which makes for 6,000 between the two houses. This one on our house in town. And so the new one combines the two. Yeah. And that adds just a little bit more. Wow. Mm -hmm. So our new house is with storage room, base, whole basement, every little space. It is about 6,700 square feet. Yeah, 66, 67, yeah. Yeah, it's big, guys. And we're going to tell you today just some of the ways we, what we were thinking when we put the plans together. We basically drew it out, but obviously we're not um, professionals at all. So the architect made something awesome of our ideas and our sketches. And so we thought we'd share with you today some of those things that we picked because of our large family. That's very large family specific and things that we picked because we're keeping in mind that we might have this house for a long, long time. Right, and so we have built before and we figured it's almost 20 years ago where we built a house. Uh -huh. It's like, uh, yeah. and so from that experience, I remember thinking after we moved in, how there are certain things that we should have done when we had the choice to do it. Even though in some ways it seemed like a lot of money, kind of do certain things that you may, might have been preferences that we kind of skipped on on our last project. We also took some pointers from that, at least from me personally. I knew that there are certain things I think, okay, let me think clearly about what I want. Mm -hmm. And then also the practicals of how we function at the other house, where our kids are getting older. And so as the kids got older, our last house, it changed. When we moved in, when most of our kids were little, it was very different than when yeah. some of the older kids started becoming yeah. older teens into becoming young adults, mm -hmm. the whole scenario changed. Yeah, so our mm -hmm. kids are ages 20 down to two, and uh, we're aware that they're not gonna live with us forever. Um, but, so we wanted to build a house that's good for the family we have now, but also accommodates like when our kids are grown, maybe they're living out of state and they come back to visit, that they would feel comfortable, like we could host a lot of people. We also host a lot of people all, all the time the even time. in this small house uh, weekly yes yeah and it doesn't matter yeah. what size house we're hosting a lot of people all yeah, the time house all, yeah mm -hmm. so we had those kind of things in mind and then also just keeping in mind that we could get old there you know like we could hopefully we'll, we will get old there. <laughs> yeah. so we, we want to, i feel like when people say oh we're building my forever dream home they no. move within two years every time so, so i'm not saying that a lot <laughs> But yeah, we do have the long, a bit no, here. I'm not, but mm -hmm. we did have a long-term long -term. view in mind. Yes. Well, a lot of people we found, because we do also talk to people that are older than us, that maybe are built, and especially ones with large, large families, just to see what they would do different. You know, we really thought through this a lot, and I'm sure there are some things that will come up and we'll think, oh, we should have thought of this, should have thought of that. Yeah. But some of it is also, that was something we considered. Uh, what if we were here long term yeah. and uh, say in the next 20 years even, how would that look for us yes. in a practical way of yeah. using the house? Uh, so in, in that regard, we made it uh, zero entry. So from the garage, 
you can walk in without any steps at all. Well, that's really helpful for my grandma who likes to come over. But I it's think hard we'll see. for her to do steps, you know? And Absolutely. So it helps with company, too, that are not able to do steps well. We actually have um, some friends at, from church and stuff that it's difficult for them to walk over steps to get into our house. So that would be helpful for hosting as well. Yes, I think we'll see grandma a lot more <laughs> yeah. when it's not such an ordeal to get into the house yes. and out of the house. Yes. So you can just come in the garage and walk right through. Yes, and another thing we did for that long-term um, thinking is put our master bedroom on the main floor. Yes. So we have like a master suite on the main floor with a small bedroom attached to it. So we do have a baby ever or... Um, we wanted a little Are you office an there, announcement or something, <laughs> or we want a little office there, or whatever. It's very close, uh, so the the little one, or maybe if she is, we don't want her too far away, so we have an option there. So. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, we have. <laughs> she's gonna make such a mess here. <laughs> she's taking a bath with her doing? cup of water. <laughs> Are you washing your face? Yeah. <laughs> Um, is that fun? We designed it so we... Oh, and then she drinks it. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, that's yucky. That's yucky. Go get a new one. Yeah, go dump that outside Don't and, and get, then come get, get, a, get a new one. one. Okay. So we ha are planning for four bedrooms that are for individual kids. So the oldest four in our house at the time will get their own bedroom. And the oldest two of those four, hopefully, will get their own bathroom as well. So an ensuite. So two bedrooms with their own bathrooms and then four bedrooms where the oldest kids so Tori's waiting to see is Judah gonna be living with yeah. us because <laughs> she would get a bedroom if he's not so there'll be a graduation process all the time yeah and for everyone younger than those oldest four um, they'll share they'll, there will be a girls room and a boys room that they will share it's like some kids will always be dreaming for their older siblings to move out <laughs> while we're dreaming that they'll stay as long yeah. as they can. So yeah. we'll have different kind of desires yeah. for different motives. So, but um, They're excited yeah. about that because they haven't had privacy yeah. much. For and you know, <laughs> what, what was motivated? Maybe do you want to tell them about how... Because someone motivated us after talking to different ones made us kind of... Got, got us thinking about that idea. Yes. You know? We had some friends um, that had older kids that would had big families, and then when their older kids come home with young families, babies, and stuff, they said it's so much nicer when you can give them a bedroom with a bathroom. And so I think we had a friend that did it with all their bedrooms, even yeah. for that reason. Um, yeah, that wasn't in the budget, but we did want to try to squeeze <laughs> a couple in there. I thought we thought it was a great idea. Um, yeah. And yeah, and then we have a couple of public bathrooms that the kids that don't have their own would have to share, including the, the younger ones. And so for those two bathrooms, we designed it so there's two sinks in a room with a counter, of course, and then there's a separate room for the toilet and shower so that we can get maximum use out of those two bathrooms. So we have a lot of kids and we know people yeah. line up for the bathrooms. So when everybody has to be ready at the same time, it Sunday is, mornings, AKA. <laughs> it's yeah. challenging. So yes. we wanted to get maximum use out of the bathrooms that we do have. So that was something that was large family friendly, I think. Absolutely, yeah. The other thing, couple of things on the main floor because where even from our last house is where a lot of our life was spent, you know. In their living area, the kitchen area, that whole area being open. Uh, we loved our last one. It was actually open, just not big enough as our kids got bigger. When we first moved into that house, it always felt like great. But then as they got older and bigger, it's like, man, wouldn't it be nice to, to have more space where we could all sit comfortably around? And we're going to have that with a good island where a lot of life happens. Yeah. But also what's fun is we have going to have... Our pantry is going to be, do they call it a walking pantry or what do they call I it? I don't know. There's a name for it. But anyway, um, I will have a sink there and a counter. So some of the baking and all that stuff That's will happen <laughs> in that pantry. Yeah. It's a butler's pantry or something like that. I think I butler's pantry. More store stuff? I don't know. But uh, it, will whatever. Be, yeah. it will be like a mini kitchen, really, with a yeah. big sink, too, which is nice. Exactly. When you need to so. soak stuff overnight. I'm always soaking sourdough bowls and all these things. And So we'll see how clean that kitchen stays <laughs> having that. It's one, it's one thing to dream it. It's another thing to actually yeah. see how that's going to play out. We'll have a really big gas stove. I think it's eight burner. 
with two ovens, which is a dream come true. I can't even imagine. Thanksgiving would be a lot easier. <laughs> we often have wanted way more burners than we have. And, and so we'll use and the a, oven. Maybe not eight at a time, but. No, yeah, we will not eight but at a the, time. The uh, oven I can just yeah. imagine holidays and when we have a lot mm -hmm. of company and when you're waiting on this person to wait on that person, yeah. to wait on that person, you know, so those types of scenarios. And it's kind of, you kind of feel spoiled because it really is not a need, but it's just such a good, convenient yeah, uh, sure. option to have. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that's interesting is maybe unique is uh, we have just two large refrigerators in our kitchen. Mm. No freezer. So no fridge freezer situation. Um, we don't really use ours here much, the inside freezer. And we, we have so many freezers in our garage where everything's organized. And so... That, why why that? Um, we use it for ice only, but we're planning on having an ice maker. That's one of my very favorite things about the house. Can't wait for that. And uh, like an in-counter ice maker. Um, I'll, I'll get rid of some other major things for that ice maker. <laughs> so we'll have two large refrigerators, which would be so helpful. Um, for all the space. All the space. <laughs> yeah, this space will feel... I don't even know how it's going to feel like for us mm -hmm. when we first move in because especially since we had to transition into such small space, I don't know if we'll be going out there and go, ah, oh, I'm sure we'll do that. But at the same time, I wonder mm -hmm. if you'll feel so big for a while, might, you know, yeah. it'll be interesting. We'll be losing each other. We'll be losing each other for <laughs> sure. I was not fun of, uh, what's the, tel the telecom system, uh, what is it called? The, oh, the intercom. intercom, yeah. I wasn't a huge fan of an intercom system, but I'm thinking, ah, uh, I'm rethinking <laughs> that now, you know. We had one at our last house uh, for a while, and it was annoying. It was nice, but annoying at the same time. Well, the kids use it a lot. Yes. <laughs> and so, then I would yell, everybody get over here. And like a year later, I realized that it was also playing outside at top volume. Wow, yeah. all the neighbors have heard me. Wake up! Yeah. <laughs> How many times do I have to get, tell you to get up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, we took that thing out. <laughs> so, uh, no, but um, I think I, I, I am, I'm really, the idea of having an intercom system is growing on me. <laughs> that when I, the more I look at that house, when we walk on that house now, <laughs> yeah. it's like, yeah, I think we'll get, I'm sure they're making better now. So we, we'll have a big mud room right off the garage, which there's a lot of mud out here. And we're going to be close to the pond. So it's muddy, muddy. Um, and I think we've talked about before, we are doing an outdoor shower because of the mud. Because our kids swim in the pond. Even the last couple of days they've been swimming. They are covered in mud, head to toe. It's not little mud on the bottom of your shoes. It's like mud bath. <laughs> and so having the outdoor shower connected to the wall so we can do hot and cold will be huge for us. We'll have to like winterize that, you know, yeah. in the winter. But, and then we have a big laundry room too with a big sink because we're going to be milking cows and you need a spot to clean all that stuff. Mm. <laughs> we only have one washer and dryer though in the laundry room, but in our house, when you turn 13, um, you do your own laundry and the kids are always waiting for my laundry. I feel like two machines is enough for what I'm managing under 13. Um, but the big kids are always waiting. So we have an extra hookup in our storage room for a washer and dryer and that will be theirs to use. So yeah. they can always wash their laundry whenever they want, hopefully. I wonder if uh, it would be more efficient having all those conveniences in the house it's like it's a trade-off, a bigger house to maintain. At the same time, you're able to do certain things where you don't have to use so much time. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how our life is. I do feel like yeah. it's easier to keep a bigger house clean, but it's harder to do the deep cleaning because like the floors are so huge and that kind of thing. When yeah. we were in our other house, it was harder to do the deep cleaning, but our house stayed cleaner than this little house. It is oh, very boy. hard to keep it picked up all the time. I mean, if it doesn't stay clean for a couple hours. <laughs> when Hope saw, saw the house coming up, she looked at me the first day though. She goes, how are we gonna clean that thing? <laughs> She's too practical. She, she is a mother's mother. child. She thinks that I'm like, well, hopefully it'll stay cleaner, Hope. She's like, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we when we drew the plans, we were so sick of hearing our baby grand piano constantly. Our kids are great pianists, and we love that they play. But our, in our house, it just filled our house constantly. And we were thinking, okay, we need a room for the grand, baby grand piano. 
Um, it's and my dad's, it's been passed down to us. We love it, but we're like, oh. And the music, the guitars and all the stuff, yeah. <laughs> so we planned um, in the basement, the part of the walkout, we actually have two walkouts and the one of them was the music room. And now after being without that baby grand piano for a year, I'm like, no, no, it's going in our main floor. <laughs> So, oh, the kids time heals so all much. wounds. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I like looking at it, not playing it. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. have a keyboard where you can go, um, if it's too much, and put headphones on. And uh, But I think that music room will probably end up being an office, maybe slash music room. A place where the music stuff, but also he will land there. I haven't had a home office for <laughs> a few years now. Yeah, and we And I used to work from home working. a lot. And so I'll probably be working from home a lot more once we have yeah. have a decent office at home. Yeah, so yeah. that's a change that's happened since mm -hmm. we started, since we planned. But I'm so thankful we have that room and it's kind of cool that it's a walkout. If you have like um, employees and clients come, you, you got to walk out. My like, clients are not coming here. Oh, that's, okay. That's <laughs> that would have another office in town for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it'll be just for me doing my own work. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, yeah. it's it's nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's some of the, the big things we will definitely be showing you a lot. Uh, we won't show you exactly where all the bedrooms are for safety reasons, but otherwise we're going to show you a lot of the process as we're going and how we're picking out things for it. It's really exciting. Yeah, I'm excited to have a pantry where I have so much food storage without going to the basement for everything. So That would be fun. That would be. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys for following along. We're excited to share with you and we'll see you again soon. See you guys. Bye. Bye.